Today is World Password Day, and if you're like me, you just dread getting that message on your computer at work, it's time to change your password. But it is so important to do so. Joining me now from the Better Business Bureau is Josh Planos. And Josh, let's talk about passwords. Uh, they protect all of our personal and the, all of our data and what and not. What is your advice for people when you get that dreaded password at work to change it? To follow the prompt, Dave, the first tip that we have is to strengthen those passwords. And rather than think of them as passwords, think of them in terms of pass phrases. That might make it easier for us to uh, wrap our heads around the amount of letters and characters that we're actually looking for to make these as complex and secure as possible. So if you like Bruce Springsteen's music, or if you like the Nebraska Cornhuskers, include that in the password. Make it less hackable by substituting characters like the at sign or an exclamation point. And of course, don't use those easily guessed numbered sequences like three zeros or one, two, three, four. Yeah, what are some of the common mistakes that you see when people say, hey, I've been hacked and whatnot? I'm sure there's a, th a theme here amongst those people. Well, the number one uh, tip that, that we have is, is to not have the same exact password for all of your accounts. Mm. Reason being, if you gain access to one account, you've gained access to, to all of them. Uh, the second thing that we see a lot of are folks not regularly updating their passwords. I talk to people all the time who have had the same password for more than a decade. That's incredibly problematic given how frequently we hear about uh, hacks and accounts being compromised and, and data breaches. So if you can regularly update your passwords, you're gonna be so much better off. And then as always, if you can you know, create unique passwords or past, past phrases for your accounts, uh, you'll be, you know, really, uh, you know, more protected than you otherwise would. Yeah, no doubt. Josh, you said don't use the same password across multiple apps or whatnot, but I mean, that's like 10, 20, 30 for most of us. What's the best way to keep track of all these? I'm sure there's some do's and don'ts on where you should store that information. Yeah, keeping track of passwords is a problem for most of us. That's why many folks use the same exact one. But password management apps come in handy because they store all of them in what they call a vault that you can access with a single master password. You can find manager apps that support multiple types of devices, ones that use multi-factor authentication, and ones that provide good customer service. As always, we recommend that you look them up on bbb.org to ensure that they also provide excellent customer service, that they respond to complaints and reviews. But password managers are a go-to solution for the folks who don't want to have to remember 10 to 12 different passwords. Josh, thank you for your time today. Thank you for having me.